Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about iDisposable. Now what iDisposable lets you do is get rid of objects after you've used them so that you can uh, make better use of the memory that you're using and you won't have to have garbage collection do all of the work for you. So what we're going to do is create a new project here. So we'll go to file, new project. Uh, we'll shrink it down and we'll call we'll uh, select Windows Forms application and we will call it I disposable test and then go ahead and click OK. So now what we need to do is we need to add a class to our I disposable test. So we we'll, we will add a class and we will call this class do stuff. So we have a class that will do stuff dot VB and we'll go ahead and click add so here's our class that we've created and so now what we need to do is to be able to dispose of objects created of this class we're going to have to use the implements key keyword to use I disposable so the way to do this is by typing implements I disposable and we'll go ahead and click tab and click enter and you can see that it adds a whole bunch of this code for us. Um, so it says uh, region I disposable su support. So it just creates a region in our class that holds all of these uh, subs for us. And we have a dispose value as boolean, uh, which will see if the uh, current object has been disposed. Uh, we've got a dispose sub and a dispose sub, uh, a second one of it. So you can read the comments on this if you want to see what it does, but we don't really have to worry about that right now. Uh, we can just leave that the way it is, and I highly suggest that you do not change that. So we will add some subs here. So we'll just type public sub um, show message, and then we'll just type message box. This is a message. Okay, so now that uh, we've created a sub that will show a message, we can go ahead and come into our form1.vb uh, designer and we'll add a button to this. So we'll just set the text to show message and we will set the name to button message. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger so that it will fit all of these words. We'll double click on the show message uh, event handler and we'll just zoom in here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create an object of the do stuff class. So we'll go ahead and type dim uh, new do stuff as new do stuff. So this creates an object of our do stuff class. And now what we need to do is we need to call uh, show message. So we will type the name of our object and we will just use the show message sub. Okay, so now it should show the message. And now once that's done showing the message, what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of our uh, uh, new do stuff object so that the memory, we have more free memory. So we'll just go ahead and type new do stuff and then we're going to use dot right there and we will just call dispose. So dot dispose. And you can see that it has uh, been created by iDisposable for us. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to come back into new form into uh, form1.vb and we need to set new do stuff equal to nothing which will completely get rid of our object so let's go ahead and run this and you can see that if we click show message right here it says this is a message and the title is the uh, by default when you call message box the title is going to be the name of your project let's we'll go ahead and click OK and when it does that you can see that it uh, gets rid of our new do stuff object so go ahead and create a couple classes uh, that implement iDisposable 
so that you can dispose the value, I mean not dispose the value, uh, dispose the object once you're done using it. Um, and then after you've done that, go ahead and move on to some of the next tutorials. We're going to be talking a little bit more about iDisposable and um, using objects and making it more memory efficient. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.